Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and this is where the magic happens with our bone broth. So I have my roasted chicken. I've taken the meat off of it, or as much as I could get off. Now everything left goes into your slow cooker with the veggies and the turmeric to make your bone broth. This will become second nature. It's so easy to do after you make a chicken or a turkey. Turn it into really nourishing stock, aka bone broth. So it differentiates the stock from the bone broth. Stock is, of course, the chicken um, bones and skin with veggies simmered for a long period of time, and it makes a delicious stock. When you add a little bit of acid, like apple cider vinegar, um, to your long simmered stock, it helps pull the collagen, which is protein, and more out of the chicken from the skin and the bones. And it makes an ultra nourishing bone broth. It's so good for your digestive system. It's healing, it makes a great, really light meal or a snack because it's really rich in protein and it's just delicious too. So we're making an ultra healing turmeric ginger bone broth. Now you could leave the ginger out if you're allergic or don't like it. Anything I put in here, you can leave out unless I let you know that it's part of the stock. So the other reason that I roast my chicken, this is a five pound chicken. And again, I cooked it at 425 degrees for about 90 minutes. Just to make sure the temperature in the middle of the breast reads to at least 165 degrees. First, it comes out perfectly. But second, I put it, now this is hot, so be careful. I've got my microphone, so hopefully this doesn't rattle. Um, I do parchment paper on the bottom just so I can really easily pick it up and it makes way less mess. So I'm going to take, and again, you want everything, the juices, the skin, everything, what was in here, and just put it right into, whoops, right into the slow cooker. Perfect, if a little comes out, that's fine. So let me get rid of this. This is hot, so be careful. And then I'll show you what to do. And again, it's so easy to do, and you get a whole, a couple of more meals out of your chicken, plus it's ultra nourishing. All right, I got rid of that hot pan. So again, I've got my slow cooker. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'll show you everything before I put it in. So this is a, just a regular six quart slow cooker. They're really inexpensive. And I'm doing it this way so I can do this overnight. And the longer you simmer your bone broth, the better the flavor, but the more collagen can come out. And what I'll do, it's about four o'clock right now. So I've got the meat off for dinner tonight or meals during the week. So I have that great chicken meat and I, you can do this on the stove as well, and I have another video to show you that. But of course, maybe if you go to sleep or you leave, you might not wanna leave your stove on. So we'll put this in the slow cooker with all of the ingredients and then just fill it up with water. Before I go to bed, I'll look at it. I might put another cup of water in. You just don't want the water to get too low. We're gonna cover it, but some of the water might evaporate. So you just wanna keep it about a, within about a half an inch of the top, and if you need to add more water, that's great. We'll start it on high for about an hour or two so it comes up to a simmer then turn it on to low in the stock pot overnight, in the slow cooker overnight. So anywhere from nine to 12 to 14 hours, just keep it on low, that low simmer, add a little water if you need to, and we're gonna have an incredibly delicious and nutritious stock. Okay, so what to add to this? A really classic recipe would be onion, uh, carrot, celery, bay leaf, and pepper. I don't add salt because you can salt it while you use it afterwards. That's totally a preference that you can do. And don't forget you need about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar because that will help pull the nutrition out of the stock. I'm also going to add garlic, ginger, and turmeric to make this ultra nourishing. But if you're allergic to one of those things or you just don't like it, you can leave it out. So the cool thing about this, we're gonna put this whole thing through a fine mesh strainer after it's done cooking. All you have to do now, I've cleaned everything, I've rinsed it with water so there's no dirt, but all you have to do is cut it just needs to fit in. So for the onion, for instance, I'm just gonna cut it in half. You can even leave the skins on. If the paper falls off, leave it off. But what you wanna do is just, I'm gonna quarter it just so it fits in here better. If anything has dirt on it, just peel it right off. But since we're gonna put everything through the fine mesh strainer, it actually doesn't change the flavor if you chop it or not. So just cut those. I cut the root off because it has dirt on it, but that's okay. So really simple. Again, it doesn't have to be, we're gonna strain this. The carrots even, I just cut in half or into thirds so that they can all fit. You're just trying to make things fit in here, right? So really simple. So two medium carrots or three small carrots and then cut two stalks of celery and stick those in there too. Now for the pepper, I'm actually gonna add whole peppercorns because 
If you add ground pepper, those little bits can go through and it can just kind of changes your stock. But when you add whole peppercorns, I'll show you. I'm just gonna add about a half a teaspoon of whole peppercorns. You get that pepper flavor, but they strain through. So we have that, and we had some salt and pepper on the chicken from when we roasted it, so that will come through as well. For the garlic, about four cloves. This is just what I had left of a garlic, so I'm just gonna cut the root off. And then I cut it in half just to open it, just to kind of open the flavor, but again, just stick it right in there because we're going to um, put all of this through a fine, ooh, I need to grab a bay leaf. I'll put one bay leaf in, and then my two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You won't be able to taste this at the end, but again, it's gonna help pull the collagen out, which is important. I add lemon afterwards. It's the acid that helps pull out the collagen, and lemon can do that too, but when you simmer lemon for a long time, it can get bitter. So I prefer apple cider vinegar, and then I add lemon just for flavor and extra nutrition right before I sip it, so I don't put it in the simmered bone broth. Now here are our two special ingredients. I've got th another extra special ingredient too that you may or may not want to use, but it really adds to your stock. So first off, uh, ground turmeric. Turmeric is so good for you, hugely anti-inflammatory, and the ground turmeric um, from a good brand is actually better than the fresh turmeric in a recipe like this because it's condensed and it's ground and it's, it's more intense. So, and when you use um, turmeric root, it can actually be a little bit bitter. So ground turmeric is best to use here. Use organic if you can, but just do the best you can. Oh, I should have popped the top off of this, but um, you want one tablespoon. You can do two teaspoons, which is, or three teaspoons is one tablespoon. I do a whole tablespoon. I need to pop the top off this next time. You guys can just see me struggle to get it all out. Okay, put the turmeric in. Ooh, it's gonna be good. And I love ginger. Um, I have a friend who's allergic to ginger, so if you don't like ginger or you're allergic to it, just leave this out. But the garlic and the turmeric and the ginger together makes just the yummiest stock. So I'm gonna do about four half inch pieces. And you can adjust this to how much you like. If you love ginger, you can do a lot. If you just wanna try maybe one little piece, you can do that. So for me, that's about four pieces that big. And again, you want it open so that the flavor comes in, but just stick it in there like that. Okay, there's one extra ingredient that maybe seem a little weird, but this is actually what a lot of restaurants do. This is an old style of cooking and it actually uses the whole animal. So I have two chicken feet here and you can get that. I got them at Whole Foods, the same place I got the chicken. Now, they're an extra like 50 cents, but the chicken feet are mostly bones, it's collagen. So if you're going for a bone broth and you want that extra collagen, then what you can do is get chicken feet. Now again, it took me about a year from making bone broth before I did this because I thought it was kind of weird. But it really does add so much extra nutrition to your stock and it's using the whole animal, which I think honors the animal more. I think the way the animal is treated is really important when we're using animal parts. But again, if, if this is too different for you, you don't have to add this. But again, it's like 50 cents for two chicken feet at Whole Foods because they want you to use the whole animal. And they're already cleaned and ready. It's just like throwing more bones in here. So I'm gonna add those and then I'm going to fill my pot with water. You wanna fill the water to the top and then right before you go to bed, just check. You might wanna add an extra cup of water. During this whole process, you can add water as needed, but you don't wanna dilute it too much. But if it's getting low, just add another cup or two of water. Again, turn it to high, let it come to a simmer for a couple of hours. Um, it'll take a couple of hours to come to a simmer and then turn it to low overnight while you go to sleep so that it just goes on low overnight and you're gonna have amazing stock in the morning. We're gonna put all this through a fine mesh strainer like I mentioned, so it'll get rid of everything that's in there and you'll just have this glorious stock at the end. Hey, welcome back. Okay, it's been almost a full 24 hours. I got up this morning, I put an extra cup of water in here. It smells absolutely incredible. And I had a busy day, so I just turned it to keep warm after about 14 hours. And look how glorious this turned out, the ginger turmeric bone broth. So the bone broth will already be that deep rich color from the veggies and the chicken, but then the turmeric just makes it even more nutritious, but also beautiful. So I wanted to show you how I serve it. I actually just love to sip it because it's full of collagen protein and it's just delicious. You can turn this into a soup. You could use the chicken that you already took off, the chicken from when you roasted it in some rice noodles and make a delicious soup, or you can sip it plain. You can use this as a base in a chili. 
You can cook quinoa in it for more protein and flavor. There's just, the options are endless. Now, I didn't put any salt in this yesterday because I like to salt it as I go. So I have some real salt, is a good brand of sea salt or some pink Himalayan salt. So I just add just a little bit of salt. It adds some minerals, but it also makes it taste amazing too. And then I do a big squeeze of fresh lemon because lemon in bone broth is so delicious. It adds even more nutrition. You don't wanna put the lemon in while it's cooking because it will become too bitter, but just do a little bit of salt and a little bit of lemon. And this is like liquid gold. It's, if you're ever sick, this is so ultra healing, but it's also just really good for your gut. It's good for your skin. So I drink it all the time. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and you can find more free recipes like this on my website at elizabethwriter.com and make sure you download the free recipe ebook. I will see you next time.